What's happening guys, Dan Devon here. Welcome to another quick tip on Just The Facts Friday. Yes, welcome back to Just The Facts Friday. This is another quick workflow tip in Premiere Pro, how you can focus your timeline and your viewing screens. Let's dive into Premiere Pro real quick and let's have a look how we do it. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, let's have a look and see how we do this. It's very, 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 very simple. Uh, basically, we just click on a section that we want and make sure it's highlighted in blue. So as you can see, I'm clicking on these here and they're just turning blue around the edges. Um, so for instance, we want to do the preview screen. We just hit hold shift key down and we hit the tilde key and you get the enlarged view of the preview screen. We hit the tilde key again, which takes us back to where we want it to be, which is the full uh, uh, Premiere Pro program. If we nip to the uh, timeline, so we highlight that in blue, hit the tilde key again, we end up with the timeline enlarged. Again, we hit tilde key to go back to where we were. Again, the preview screen, and it works in all of these situations. Basically, you can still just go ahead and you can flick between whichever ones you want. It's interesting to note that whilst you're in these in these zoomed in uh, uh, focused areas, you can still see the color, you can see the, the effects tab, you can still whip between those if you want to, um, and they will then uh, allow you to, to continue to use Premiere Pro as it is normally. Um, however, uh, effectively, when you go back to the edit screen, you've lost your zoom in, so you just go back to your tilt key, uh, shift and tilt, and effectively, you're back to where you were before. Super quick and super simple. It just focuses the bit that you're looking at rather than clutter up the whole screen with all the other bits and bobs. If you just need the timeline or you just want a quick preview so you can see it full screen, it's so easy to do. Um, and it just stops you from, from trying to see what you're trying to do. You're, like, you're always trying to like sort of focus and sort of this sort of distance away from the screen. I'm always, you know, an inch away from the screen rather than my nose pressed up against it trying to see each individual bit and it just saves you zooming in and zooming out all the time. So quick couple of keys, boom, you've got a full screen of what you're looking for. Hope this was useful, hope you found it interesting, put it to use, make your workflow a little bit quicker, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.